Good morning. Let this Monday, February 12th, start with prayer. Father, we dedicate to Psalm 8 to you today, this Monday, February 12th. Lord, it's daily gospel, 1,238 days, Lord. So thankful. Let us continue to meditate on the words that it may give life in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, we're now at uh, Psalm chapter 8. I am back to Korea, and I'll be going to Cambodia tomorrow. Uh, got back from Japan. Ooh, it was glorious. Well, let me read Psalm 8, entire chapter first, and then we'll probably cover two verses. It's, it's quite profound. This is one of those poetry. I mean, it was all poetry, but this actually is written like a poetry for the public. This is Word of the Lord from King David, O oh Lord, our God, how excellent is thy name in all the earth, who has set thy glory above the heavens, out of the mouth of babes and sucklings, has thou ordained strength because of thine enemies, that thou mightiest still enemy and avengers. When I consider thy heavens, the work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars, which thou hast ordained, what is a man that thou art mindful of him? And son of man, that thou visited, 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 visited them. You made him a little less than divine, but you crowned him with glory and honor. Thou hast made him to have dominion over the works of thy hands. Thou hast put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, yea, the beast of the field, the fowl of the air, and the fish of the sea, and whatever present through the path of the seas, all sheep, O oh Lord, our sovereign, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Amen. So he starts out with that line, which is so profound. Let me read that in New International Version. Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory in heavens. Um, and that is repeated at the end, you know. I write poetry, I publish several books in poetry. So sometimes the poet uh, starts with the first line and end with that line at the end. And usually that is the title as well, or the keywords will be included in that first line. So that's kind of a technique. And so David is, is using that right now, means to say that that's the key point. Oh Lord, <laughs> our God, not my God, our God. He makes it very clear that uh, because this text is going to be turned into a song and it will be read by, right? Or sang, sang by hmm. well, the people. Uh, chapter 8 puts you in a mood. It's a little different than, you know, being chased by his own son who tried to kill him, chased by King you know, Saul who tried to kill him. So out of desperation, he cries out to God and cries out, break their teeth and all that. But here, this is more relaxed atmosphere. Maybe the war is over, uh, it's in between wars and it's not being chased. Uh, he is relaxed. He's looking over the stars at night, you know, maybe uh, drinking a little bit of wine and just thinking about how good God is, right? counting the stars, right? And then he says, you know, in this intimate mood, right? Intimate mood. He says, O oh Lord, our God, how excellent is your name in all the earth. You know, Asian cultures value names. They say in the Proverbs, a tiger dies and leaves the skin, but human dies and leaves the name. In Korea, it's three words, right? Uh, three character, because Korea is like, oh, so quan, right? So three character, leaves the, the tiger dies and leaves the skin, man dies and leaves three character, three words, your name. The name is very important to David because he's in from, once again, Asian culture. And he said, Lord, our God, how excellent is thy name 
and all the earth, who has set the vast glory above the heavens. Wow. Looking at the stars, mesmerized. God who created all that cares for me. That when I was running away from Saul, running away from Absalom, and was hiding from the caves, he cared for me. And he is overwhelmed, right? And he says, oh, and then, you know, Kelvin writes, there is this presented to us the whole order of nature, the most abundant matter of showing forth the glory of God. But as we're unquestionably more powerful, affected with what we ourselves experience. David here, with the great priority expressed, celebrates a special favor with God manifest toward mankind. And him, mainly. So he's experiencing this God of universe who created everything and looking at the sky, remembering all his past and how God has helped, said, Lord, you are magnificent. Our God, you are excellent in your name. Out of the mouth of babes, infants, you have established strength because of your foes to steal the enemy and the avenger. Well, what does cross-reference? Matthew, in your book, if you have uh, my commentary, page 73, these are cross-references. Matthew eleven twenty-five. 25. At that time, Jesus declared, I praise you, Father, Lord of heavens of the earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and learned, reveal them to little children. Matthew 21, 16. Do you hear what these children are saying? They ask, yes, Jesus answered. Have you never read? From the mouth of children and infants, you have ordained praise. So Jesus is using this Old Testament text by written by David as a reference. So he's using the Old Testament, which was considered word of God. So he's using in Matthew 21, 16, word of God. Of course, nobody, Matthew himself probably didn't know when he was writing this that, well, my writing will become word of God. Well, he probably didn't. He just wrote it because that's the preaching that Jesus did, quoting the Psalms, this very verse that we, we read. 1 Corinthians one twenty seven. but God chose the foolish things of the world to shame the wise. God chose the weak things of the world to shame the strong. Wow. That's just picked up from more and more, more of like, wow, well, David said that. Hmm. And everybody, in a, in a way, refer, they know that David wrote it. See, the people who are listening to Jesus' teaching know that, oh, he's talking about Psalms. Okay. Psalms chapter 8, verse 1, 2. So he know, they know. Oh, yeah, that's right. David fought battle with, right? Um, uh, David killed. Uh, oh, gosh. Uh, Goliath. Goliath. Wow, that's right. He chose the weak to, to shame the strong. Uh, Calvin writes, David now enters into proof of the subject which he had undertaken to discourse upon, declaring that the province of God in order to make itself known to mankind. <laughs> this more kind of general. Hester Bong actually brings out uh, from the story uh, how King David was belittled by Goliath, but David really didn't care. He said, no, you know, out of the babes, you know, it's the weak things that God used. So it's kind of a personal testimony. You know, I've been using Pastor Bong's commentary in English. Uh, it, I turn, <coughs> I translate Pastor Bong's commentary to English and then uh, incorporate it into my uh, commentary now. But now, wow, I just found out and they, the Pastor Bangs had a publishing house for little children and he wrote a commentary for the entire Bible and he turned his entire Bible commentary into a children's commentary, but more in, you know, graphic and this is so cute. And, you know, to think that that's exactly what I'm trying to do. <laughs> it's so amazing that he and I, uh, I, I didn't know he was doing that. He had this 30 years ago already. But um, probably because they're asking me to translate those kids' books, I said, no, you could just, you could hire someone to do that. You know, I don't want to do things that 
anybody could do when they are paid to do. I wanted to be be more creative. So because I am writing commentary with you know now Matthew, Job, and Psalm, what I will be doing is actually turn my commentary of Job for children. So it's a mix mixing of um, commentary of uh, Pastor Bong's teaching, but and and then there's a twist uh, with Kierkegaardian philosophy. So it will be me, Pastor Bong, Kierkegaard writing a commentary for children. Wow, that would be that would be wild. <laughs> and I'm so excited that I could be part of that, mainly through uh, verbal sorting, categorizing by ChatGPT. It will really be very helpful to create graphic like this for children. Wow, God is good. So Father, we thank you that as um, you have your ways, Lord, in us, touch us. God, it is not up to us, but it is you. You have chosen the weak to shame the strong, the poor to shame the rich. Lord, we thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. See you tomorrow. Mwah.